What is up guys and welcome back to another episode and today I want to talk to you about something that's going to be really important for you coming up and I want to talk about my top three lures for the fall. So um, again this is just my opinion and I've already been just slaying the fish on these three lures and I'm not going to put them in any order. I'm just saying you might want to have these three with you at all times during the fall. So let's go ahead and get into which lures I picked. All right guys, first lure, we have got a crankbait. All right, so this specific crankbait has been my favorite so far this fall. Um, I've been cranking just rock walls. We kind of go up in some cuts, in some coves, things like that. And the fish are just gorging on shad right now. So I like this crankbait. This is the Flat Banger by the Guggen Squad. And I, just personal preference, I really enjoy a flat-sided crankbait opposed to a just normal uh, square bill. I just like that tighter wobble. I, again, that's just personal preference. I've been throwing a uh, regular square bill as well, and it's been tearing them up. Also, you do not have to specifically stick to the shad pattern. Um, this pattern is shotgun shad. I really like the detail and uh, that bit of flash they added right there. Um, but this pattern's been working great for me. I've been slaying fish on it until I break it off and lose it. So I had to order quite a few to get ready for the rest of the fall. But I definitely suggest having a crankbait tied on and ready to go. Fish are destroying them right now. So you better have the crankbait with you this fall. All right, next bait. This bait has been on fire since a little bit before fall. But again, this kind of goes with the pattern of fish are gorging on shad. And we have got a buzz bait. So we just got a white buzz bait. Um, this is also by the Guggen Squad. And this is the Hummer. So just a white buzz bait. I've been fishing it. Uh, I don't put a trailer on it or anything. You might want to put a trailer hook on to help with those uh, just making better hook sets because I've noticed that fish do tend to short strike this a lot. But a lot of my short strikes are Guadalupe bass that can be a little tiny, but they you know, tend to bite off a little more than they can handle. So they'll go for a bigger bait like this. So in the mornings or when you've got windy days, overcast days, you can throw this buzz bait all day long and get fish all day long. They are chasing uh, shad, like I said. So I would definitely go with a white pattern um, during the day. Black is better for at night, in my opinion. But this has been getting it done on the lake lately. So I highly recommend you have one of these tied on and ready to go at all times. All right, guys. And then for my final lure to round up these top three, I have got, I mean, everybody loves this lure, right? We've got a jig. All right. So this jig is a trash master jig with a biospawn exopod trailer little green pumpkin red flake and a green pumpkin with black flake uh, exopod as the trailer i mean thing is with the jig guys you can catch fish on it all year long there's a great jig bite in the fall um, just imitating crawfish hopping in and out of rocks so the fish, I mean, yeah, they kind of get triggered to start chasing bait fish and stuff in the fall, but they're not gonna pass up easy meals like crawfish. So you can absolutely smoke some bass on a jig right now. All right, so that is my top three lures. No order because these all have uh, a certain situation where they would excel and be my number one choice. So let's just talk about that for a second. So maybe you've got clear skies, um, and you're really wanting to cover some ground, find those fish, but you don't have that nice like overcast, a little bit of wind on the water, it's kind of calm and blue skies, I would throw the crankbait. That would be my choice for that. So, you know, just beat the banks, find the fish, see if you can get a crankbait bite going on those conditions. I mentioned it before, but if you've got a cloudy day, a little bit of stormy conditions, some wind on the water, you will get bit on this all day long in the fall. And now you can throw this in all conditions and probably get bit, but I wanna pick up the jig whenever I've got conditions that are a little bit tougher, probably those um, bluebird skies, uh, not a lot of motion on the surface, not a lot of wind, and maybe the crankbait isn't picking up fish, they're a little more finicky, and that's when I would pick up the jig and start flipping around to pick up some of those tougher fish to catch 
on the jig because you can catch fish on the jig all year long. Amazing lure, they will always buy it. All right guys, I just wanna say that all of these lures, I got them on uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle and actually, let's see, I got, I bought this one myself because I just liked it. But I got the Exopod, the Crankbait, and this Trashmaster jig all from a mystery tackle box and that is the only way I would have ever tried them. And I ended up loving them, they're in my, I mean, top three baits for the fall. So I actually have a link I'm gonna put it in the description. Um, if you click that link, basically you can get $10 off your first mystery tackle box order. And then later on down the road, if you get like a second order from your mystery tackle box, it'll give me $10 in tackle. So you can help yourself out, help me out. Um, I really enjoy the uh, mystery tackle box service, great lures every month, and you get them at a cheaper value than if you would buy them individually. So. Anyways, guys, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your top three are. Do you uh, kind of agree with me? Do they line up with what I picked? Or do you have something completely different? Um, this is a lot more uh, geared towards the lakes I'm fishing. I fish a lot of rocky uh, water, clear water, stuff like that. So I know that it's a lot different in different parts of the country and the world. So anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what would make your top three for the fall. All right, and guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it a lot. Um, again, don't forget, that I have that link in my description if you're interested in starting a Mystery Tackle Box subscription. And guys, most importantly, if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out on the channel, please hit the subscribe button for me if you have not done that already. Um, I would just appreciate it so much, and then that way you won't miss any more videos that I'm gonna be putting out in the future. So with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.